Hey Fitman family, it's Anthony here with another question of the week. Today we talk about heart rate. The question is, what should your heart rate be? Great question. We have what's called your active and your resting heart rate. Let's talk about resting heart rate first. This is when you are literally at rest. The best time to check that number is first thing in the morning. Before you even get out of bed, you should find out what that number is. At the end of the video, we'll tell you how to do so. Um, but the goal is to be between 60 to 100 beats per minute. That means your heart, your pulse, right, is beating 60 times per minute or up to 100 times per minute. I think 100 is a little too high. 60 is where you want to be. 60 to 80 would be a good resting heart rate. What about if you're below 60 or above 100? Technically, you're too low and too high on the other end. Too high, you know, I've been told by uh, some cardiologists and doctors that really when you get into 140 or even 120 or higher beats per minute and you're just resting, go check with the doctor. You might have a little condition that can be easily fixed, so don't panic, but it's something to look at. What about if you're under 60? If you're not training and not well conditioned, you'll want to check that out because that's something else that you may want to look into that can be fixed as well. Um, in saying that, if you are well conditioned, you're an athlete, a fit room member, you're probably going to have a better heart rate than 60. You might have. I know a lot of people here that have a heart rate of 40 or 50 beats per minute. That's because, again, you're in great shape, your fitness level is high. So that is okay. But again, always worth checking with your doctor when it comes to heart health. Highly recommend that. Now, let's talk about active. This is your exercise heart rate, what your heart is beating at when you're training. Now, simple formula is 220 minus your age. So let's say you're 40 years old, 220 minus 40, you get 180 beats per minute. And that would be your heart working at its max potential. You don't wanna get there, to be honest, it could happen where you get pretty darn close to that number on a really hard workout, but you don't wanna live there in your workouts. That actually becomes very counterproductive and can become dangerous, leading to things like cardiac arrest, which we don't want. As well, you can also get into overtraining, you can get into extreme fatigue and weakness as well if you get there all the time. The more conditioned you are, if you get over 85%, that's okay, but trying to stay in the range of 50 to 85% is what you're aiming for. I like to tighten those ranges. 65 to 85 is what I recommend. It makes sure, it means that you're really pushing hard and getting a great uh, workout in, burning some calories and all the good stuff with exercise. So, your active resting, sorry, your active heart rate should be 220 minus H, so 220 minus 40, let's say, that's 180 times 0.85, that's 85 of your max heart rate. That's a great number to strive for during your workout. Your resting heart rate, like I said, is between 60 to 100. Going closer to 60 will be uh, a lot better than staying at 100 for your overall heart health. How do you calculate this number? If you have an Apple Watch, it does it for you, right? If you've got a heart rate monitor, some people wear that while they work out and attaches to your watch or your phone, you can track it that way. A very, very simple way is putting your two fingers right on your wrist towards your thumb and you'll find your heart rate there. You would keep your hand there. Obviously you would need a, uh, to time it for 15 seconds. You're gonna count how many beats you hear or feel and then you times that by four. So let's say I felt 15 beeps or pulses I should say in the 15 seconds, I would times that by four. Guess what, 60 beats per minute is my resting or active heart rate. So that's how you calculate it. Some people do this 
because you really feel it here. Just be careful because you could actually pass out. I've seen it almost happen. That's why we recommend here now. Uh, that's where you're part of one of your arteries is, your carotid artery, that can cause uh, people to get a little bit woozy. It actually happens, especially during exercise. So be careful. So read the caption for more information. Watch the video again. I hope you guys learned some stuff here. Stay tuned for another question of the week next week.